So we're here near Knoxville, Tennessee. Got up at four o'clock this morning because Katina wants to look at, well, put it this way. She wanted to have an adventure. Uh, we're about three hours away to our destination. Yep. So. We'll keep you posted. We'll keep you posted. So it's her turn to drive though. Yeah, I got it. I got this. So it's your first experience at Bucky's, huh? Yes. How you like it? It's like an RV store. Mm -hmm. Tina? Different. What are we doing here? You have us at this familiar place. I mean, I it's do. not a familiar place, but I do. we're used to these types of places. We are. To be continued? Yes. So, our newest subscriber. What's your name again? Brittany. Brittany. Brittany is our newest subscriber of the LBC fam. Thanks for being a fan. Absolutely. Thank you. guys this is a first for us this is the first time that we have ever gone to a Walmart with our RV right and then we can just stand out here and put our stuff in the refrigerator so we are in our Walmart shopping center or well, there's actually other stores but we just came out of Walmart now think about when you buy a brand new RV you're starting from scratch we still have an RV, but we don't have any items for this RV. So we're basically starting from scratch. And this is Katina's baby. Yay! This is kind of like an RV and uh, your work office, right? Yeah. For your glamping business. Yeah, so it, is. it has dual purposes. It has dual purposes. But we definitely yeah. had to start over. We didn't have anything. And that the car is full. The car is totally so full. So we can't put anything Delilah on the Delilah is full. <laughs> so we're about 30 minutes from our RV site. Uh, we're going to hook up. 
after we get loaded up and we'll see you out there. This weekend in Nashville, Tennessee, we're at uh, Elm it? Hill RV Resort. There you go. In Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. So this weekend is a wonderful weekend weather-wise. It's in the low 80s. It's not scorching hot like it has been the last few days. And Katina booked us a very beautiful RV park. Let's give you a quick view of what we're looking at. So what you're looking at is the, what is it again, Katina? The J? The J Percy Priest Lake. And it's actually a reservoir that was formed by the J Percy Priest Dam. It's very beautiful out here. And I believe there's an airport not too far away because I'm hearing planes over our heads all day long. But it is an absolutely beautiful RV park. They got some uh, concrete RV pass right here. I seen two class A's yesterday when we came in. Parked on the side. There's still one up there, but it's kind of unique. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but across the water is a boat slip. Uh, a lot of boats come and go at night, daytime. There's a lot of activity over there. It's very beautiful out here and they do have some sites available i don't know if people just don't know about it but you're actually on an island we're on a small island water is all around us i think it's a peninsula which i don't know what the definition of that but i think an island is completely surrounded well that's true but the peninsula is like surrounded on several sides but still connected i think the only way you can get in there's only one way in and there's only one way out right. and we have water water like 345 degrees around us right so the rv park is like a peninsula yes but it's it's very beautiful right? yes but we didn't have to cross a bridge or anything no we got here all on land no bridges right. which makes Just, me think peninsula versus pipe. i agree okay. hey guess what we agree well, if you agree, <laughs> if you just go with your wife, if you just go. Here's another example. On everything? I mean, you know, I'm not going to say everything. 90%? Nine, nine times out of ten, you need to go. Which is 90%. Okay. Yeah, right. so I'm all for it. 90%. So, guys, be honest. How many of you agree but whatever your wife says, 90% of the time, honestly, list it in the comment section. We're not trying to get an argument started. Katina and I, as you know, we joke around a lot and it's all in play and love. But really, do you listen to 90% of what your spouse tells you? Please comment below. They have grills set up in between the, the road. I think it's for this particular campsite. Uh, right? Wait a minute. They got three grills set up where? And there's no grills over there. So I'm guessing these are the grills that these grills belong to those campsites on the outer uh, the outer perimeter because right, this one has a grill. that site has a grill. Do we have a grill at our no. site? We don't have a grill. Okay, well that makes sense because number 89 and it number 88 have don't have a grill. But there are grills along the walls. It's interesting. So they have a nice shuffleboard set up if you're into that. Cornhole. Cornhole, Katina. Cornhole, Jeffrey. You want some of these? <laughs> Do out. Yeah, I want it all. Do you think you can beat me? No. Oh, there's the uh, poles for the corner. I mean, the shuffleboard. I don't think I can beat you, but... You I, might. You you never know. You get lucky I, every now and then. I do want it on record that we played miniature golf last week at Sun Outdoors at Rona Beach. And I, I'm not seeing the golf skills.
So this is our dream RV. This is Linda and Terry. And the pooches. And the, the dogs. Terry said he's gonna get rid of this RV in five years and we'll be taking it over. Exactly. The RV and the Jeep. Both. The RV has to be a package deal. The RV and the Jeep. The RV and the Jeep. Yeah. So you guys that say that Class A people don't get out. They're outside. We have all They're outside. that say Class A people are, are never outside. They're always, it's so nice on them. <laughs> so that's like, they're outside. They're outside. So Terry wants to get rid of his RV <laughs> in five years. And Katina it. and I are maybe in the market for Class A in five years. All the kids will be out of school. And we're gonna do a quick tour. It's just the important part. We keep the beers and the soft drinks. You, you're going to make us not want to have to go back to our RVs. <laughs> yeah, did you see that? Get that. Well, you, is that what you really want, babe? I feel that you should go and do it today. <laughs> today? Well, we have to get rid of the toy home. And the truck. <laughs> gone. It's gone. Gone. You sure? So gone. All right. Oh, look okay. at this, man. This is awesome. Oh my goodness. Yes. This is awesome. Look at this. Now this is a, a Z floor plan. A Z floor plan. Okay. An Anthem Z. And I love it. I love this. I can control by my phone, but I also can control it here. So all the lights. Makes it too easy. Look at this. Anything I want to turn on? Jeff, when are you buying me this? When, when the girls get out of school. When is it happening? Oh my. Very nice. I love it. Look at all this power space. It's a ton of power space. Well, we even have more, actually. Oh, wow. <sighs> yeah. If you want me to cook out every day, Jeff, you have to get me one So if things. we had this unit, would you go every to sleep day. on me while I'm driving? No, <laughs> I'm going to sit do? up there and watch the beautiful landscape through the big Do you windshield. drive, Linda? I do not. You do not drive. I am not would you drive to. at Katina? Yes. You would drive. Get it tomorrow. I'll do anything <laughs> you say. Yes, I'm doing it. Oh, look. The spice rack. Oh, yeah. I love that. And three. Okay. Three spice racks. Three awesome. spice racks. And is this a dishwasher? That's the dishwasher. To, when are you getting it? That's what I need to know. No. I didn't understand. I didn't understand when it's coming. When it's coming. Hello, Terry. You may. <laughs> See? Shouldn't let her in, huh? <laughs> no. I see a double sink. She said she would probably drive it. I told him whatever he wants, I, I'm gonna commit to it. He goes and gets it <laughs> I love it. So for us, this unit, most 45 footers have a bath and a half. For right. us, we wanted more living space. Yeah. It's a, you got a bath. It's perfect. What else right. do you need? This is what I want in two sinks. Two yes. Because nobody wants their man in their sink. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what she said? Uh, Nobody uh, wants their man in their seat. Because they don't do right. No, it's a mess. <laughs> they don't do I right. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. They don't do right. So this one has okay. a lot of extra storage here. Yes. I use for all my... Yeah. You gotta take it. I love the storage. And that, uh, the John. Yeah. And then if you look in there, there's the Oh, yeah. The shower. The shower. Big enough. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love it. That's nice. Even got a window, so you're not all shut up in there. No. I love it. Not claustrophobic. No, not at, at all. all. And you can use the bathroom and the sinks when you're going down the road. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is the bedroom in the king size sleep number. Yes, king size sleep number. Look, we are ready storage over here oh my gosh storage. every woman look at that a ceiling fan y'all in the bedroom this hallelujah is, this is unique to integra um coaches because of the way they configured lights they could put their ceiling fan like new mars um some of the other 
bigger class A's. Yes. They don't do that because they configure the lights wrong, but we love Honey, it. that fan at night. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love, love it. So you have double armoires. Yes, double armoires, big drawers. Yes. Gosh, these drawers huge are drawers. Huge. huge. I love drawers. that. And then I have a full size walk in closet, cedar closet. Yes, cedar closet. My washer and dryer right here. Washer and dryer. I like that you can actually get to it. A lot of times it's in the closet, but you, you kind of have to model. turn yourself into a pretzel. Or the models where it's in the bathroom over the toilet. Yeah. And you're like, what are we doing? I love that. Another armor. And that, look at these, these drawers. We have tons and tons of storage. Yes. And these big drawers. And it goes all the way back there. I love it. So, yes. I love the backlighting. They have kind of thought of everything. Yeah, they put the light on the clothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. My husband says I take way too many clothes with me, but oh well. What does he know? You know, girls gotta have things. Girls gotta have, shoes. I mean, <laughs> you need all your things. I do need my things. Oh, y'all, look at this. Just gorgeous. We are, we're moving up to, to Terry and Linda Land. One <laughs> of these, one of these good days. So, oh, and you, we also, we have a, this is convection microwave. Oh, okay. So I can bake in there, and then I have an induction cooktop. Induction. How do you do with the convection microwave? Do, do you, great. I can cook anything in it, and I can cook at home in my, on my oven and stove. Okay. And then what they do really need is they give you this. It stores up here when you're not using Ooh, it. Oh, yay. You don't have to, like, figure out where you're going to put it. No. And then this way you, you get extra counter space. Yeah, I love it. So unless I'm, when we're stopped, we're usually cooking outside just because it's fun. Yeah, it is. But I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's Y'all, Jeff needs to buy me one of these. <laughs> Welcome to my RV. She doesn't have a name yet, but this is a Sunray Sport 139T, which means that it is a toy hauler. Believe it or not, as small as it is, it is 15 feet. Let's go inside. Come on in. Welcome, welcome. So, really quickly, the way I have it set up right now, it is it is in sleep mode. So, it can sleep three people. This is a full-size bed up top. And then there is a couch slash twin bed in the bottom. And at the end, we'll do a new configuration so that you can see how I'm going to use it. Because I have a glamping business and I need to travel and take things with me, I am going to be using this to actually transport my glamping stuff. But y'all know I love decor, so I came prepared with just a few things. A little picture here. I bought this for my daughter's college dorm, and she has outgrown it, so it came here and made me happy. Uh, there's a sink in here, just a little bit of storage, so we're having to rethink our storage and kind of where things go, but there's storage here and here. That's the exhaust for the heat. So there is heat and air here. Microwave, which is right here. This is the microwave. And down here is where I kind of store bigger stuff until I get a tongue box. And believe it or not, oh, so this is a detachable speaker, which is right here. And I can take it outside and it's Bluetooth operated. And I think it recharges on that station where it is. Oh, okay. That's a Jeff thing. It recharges. Woohoo! There's also a bathroom. Woohoo! So just a toilet, um, mostly for emergency use uh, at night. So we're going to actually use the bathhouse to take a shower today. That is new for us, but I'm excited for the adventure. I am going to change configurations right in front of your eyes by using our lovely Happy Jack system, which is going to take the bed up. So as you can see, the bottom bed will come up. And what you're gonna see up under there is all the stuff, <laughs> our bags and stuff that we stored up under there. 
that's okay. Okay, so this configuration is the money shot because I can let the beds completely up and use this as a wonderful garage. So all this space here, there's 112 inches from here to here and 48 inches here that I can use as my garage to put all of my stuff. And I'm so excited to be able to have both the RV and a place to store all my camping stuff. So this is pretty cool on a wonderful breezy day. We have this wonderful magnetic screen. And look what we do. We just come on outside. It does not get any better than this. So, you know we have this beautiful backdrop of Elm Hill RV Resort, but we also get to have a fabulous campsite. So we've got a fire pit right here. We've got our chairs. What is this? Y'all know this is not my doing. This oh, is, yes, it is. It's not. It's not. It's Jeff. In order for me to come, you know I had to have a TV. One of my favorite things is the outdoor kitchen. I'm a little short, so I'm on the Sunray owners group on Facebook, and everybody talked about how tall that outdoor kitchen was, so I came prepared with a step. So I am a member of, and have been a member of, the Sunray owners group, which if you have an RV, you really need to join the owners group for whatever RV you have, because they're fabulous people. And so one of the things that I learned before I even got the RV was that outdoor kitchen for as nice as it is is super high so I'm super short so I bought a wonderful RV step stool which is actually adjustable and will go up two more rungs we've done no organizing just yet so things are just in here but I'm excited that there's all this storage for food we're sorry about all the noise as fabulous as our site is, we are literally right at the boat dock in Marina. So all of the boats and jet skis that are coming in are pretty loud. And it's midday on a Saturday, it's absolutely beautiful. So people are riding their boats, rightfully so. So let's continue. This is a two burner cook stop, cook top. And a sink. And this cover came with it, which is lovely. I would like to upgrade this sink though, so I can have a sprayer. Work on that for me, Jeff. So there's an on-off switch right here for the light, as well as for the refrigerator, which we have on right now, wonderfully. Um, more storage up under here. Not gonna open it, cause it's not organized just yet. But I'm so excited about this fridge. There's a fridge and a freezer. Yay. It's a 12 volt fridge, so a lot of people on the forum have said that it sucks up the battery, but we're plugged in right now, so not an issue. What else? There are more plugs over here. Of course, we have our fabulous how, fan. How long is your? It is 15.5. 15 15.5 15 feet. How much does it weigh? It was about 2,000 pounds, completely unweighted with nothing in it. Um, it has a gross vehicle weight of about 3,500. So really, really small. And what are you, what's your tow vehicle? My tow vehicle, her name is Delilah. It is a GMC Denali. It's a 2018 Yukon. And I've got plenty of power to be able to tow it. I'm super excited. And she towed the vehicle her and first I drove it. 20 That's right. miles. That's right, my first 20 miles. On the highway. On the highway. Now, let me say, um, we got here, and I have a new appreciation for people who back RVs in. I tried to back it in with very whack plastic instructions. Let me say that. My instructor was. But I, I tried to back it in unsuccessfully, gave up. And Jeff had to get us in spot, but I'm going to keep practicing. I'm going to pray for my instructor that he will work on his um, skills for instructing. And hopefully I'll be able to um, back it in myself. But. Just so you guys know, that is a single axle 
uh, this is a single axle RV and a single axle they turn very sharp even I had to use a little bit of caution when trying to back it in so Katina she doesn't understand that everything you do you have to counter move so if it turns left you got to turn the vehicle to the right the tow vehicle to the right so she just wasn't grasping the idea of the way the RV moves but we'll practice with it and soon before soon or soon enough should be I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it but she had excellent instructions she just didn't pay attention no my, my instructor used jargon and words that I don't know what you're talking about I'm, when straighten I say it. straight it, it, it means give go it, back give to it the right give it let I, what <laughs> we'll work on it guys we'll work on it so she'll get it the next time hopefully hopefully we have an electric tongue jack, which I was super, super, super excited about. Propane, because we do, as small as we are, we still have heat. And here's the battery, and there is an automatic shutoff over to the side. There's also solar on the roof, um, and an awning, which we don't have a ladder today to be able to get up on it, but later, later we will, but there's solar on the roof as well. Also, your roof will hold a capacity of 500 pounds. Yes. Yes. The total. Again, the total is still 3500 but you can put things on the inside as well as up top. Now, baby, you're going to have to really do some work to get up there, um, but you could technically put something on the top. But it'd be a great place for, like, kayaks. Um, if I ever was going to get in a kayak, probably not. I'm not that great of a swimmer. Jeff told me a long time ago. I asked him, I said, babe, if I fell in the water, would you dive in and get me? And he said... Uh, you'll have on a life jacket guys what I wanted to hear was yes baby girl you fall in I'm jumping in it closes up really easily so I'm super excited about that because at some point Jeff's not going to be with me so I'm going to have to do it by myself okay wait I see you got rubber stoppers on the back of your Yes, I have rubber stoppers. Okay. And I also have a I'm prepped for a backup camera. So I personally feel like I need one of those. All right, we'll work on that. But the neat thing is I have all the same stuff that we have on our big one. Fresh water connection, city water connection. This one of course is 30 amp. And so do we still have big boy? We still have Megatron. You we still have Big Big Boy. That's our uh, fifth wheel. We do. Uh, the purpose of this one was for me. I turned 50 this year. This was a birthday gift to me, but also it serves two purposes because I'm going to use it to tow things for my glamping business. Thank you. 